far as shovel as he goes, Harlem wins. But Pensacola has better guns, yeah. I agree. Like he said, I, but I still love my Harlem. The thing about the Harlem is it, it seems to have a decent mix of armor um, and everything else. The, the ship itself doesn't feel like it's fantastic by any means. I agree with you. I think it has to do with um, just the feeling that like you won't die if a battleship decides to shoot you right away. Yeah, unless you just, you know, Unless you just go fly broadside. But that's most crew. That's just... Yep. Harlem is basically probably the most defensive cruiser at tier 8. Mm -hmm. one, uh, easily one of the toughest to kill. And because of that, her guns are actually worse than tier 6. Yep. Battle cruiser dispersion is the main problem. Because, I mean, I don't know why this line doesn't have cruiser dispersion. It needs it, frankly. Hmm. You get cruiser I mean, dispersion on the previous ones, but when you get up to tier 8, you get more airstrikes. That's that's the trade-off. Yeah. Okay. Duckman, but I don't sorry? Mind. I don't mind it. I can live with it. My main problem with the Harlem is that... Well, besides the gun dispersion, it just... Uh, it doesn't feel inspired, you know? Like, you take a look at all the other cruisers that have the same layout that the Harlem ones. You have the Bar Baltimore, the Martell, so on. And they all have their own unique gimmicks. And this, meanwhile, is like, hey, hey, I can cosplay an aircraft carrier. Mm -hmm. It's fresh, but it's also kind of uninspired. It's fairly unique, especially considering all the controversy it, it caused when some people leaked certain screenshots. Yeah, I don't know what you're yeah. talking about, SAT. Oh no, it couldn't be done by a certain uh, Finnish streamer. Hmm, surely uh. not. Bo? Oh, of course Bo would do such a thing. Of course. Oh, yeah, okay. he's still with us all. Yeah, you can sort of see that example of the uh, battlecruiser dispersion. If that was a Baltimore, that would have been a deadly anger. Oh well. So the Harlem, like the Harlem, is actually actually a good cruiser in one v one fight, just mm -hmm. because you get that fast uh, fast acne heal. Right. The problem is that fight drags on forever. I was in a one v one against a uh, a Admiral Hipper, and it basically took me half the match to kill him, even though he was charging at me, mm. because none of my airstrikes could hit him. <laughs> wow. Just get good oh. with your airstrikes. Well, good. I try. Telling SAT to get, telling SAT to get good. That's the, that's an oxymoron. Well, he had hydro going, so he dodged all my airstrikes. Oh, wait, mm, clearly hydro, going, hydro so dodged all your airstrikes. Yes, that's how it works. Hydro German hydro is overpowered. This is Dutch. Clearly. Okay. Now, um. I will state one thing, I this is actually a point where I make a bit of a mistake in sort of turning away, because, yeah. a little spoiler, right? I was expecting the enemy team to sort of um, push the western side while my team was a little bit slow to get to the eastern side. Mm -hmm. And then I was hoping to counteract them, and, they, and then's when they realized, oh hang on, our cast being contested, they go back, I can push in and do whatever I want. What I wasn't expecting was the fact that my team would push so quickly that the enemy team didn't get out of their spawn and they just looped back and killed my team and I was left well, uh, wondering like, what the heck happened. Yeah, your, your chump fawn went down the channel and because he went down the That's channel, cool. he's going to attract the attention of the entire enemy team. They're all going to turn around. So yeah. I do agree your I... decision to turn here doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah, I would have definitely done the charge down seven, finish off everyone there, and then yep. you'll be in our cap when they loop around and get back. At this point, you might as yeah. well go down the channel now. I didn't, actually. That's oh, the thing. Sadness. Because I was thinking, like, well, okay, the, the Shimpon's gonna die. I don't want to face that same fate. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I realized, hang on, the enemy team might, might as well push down this side, so I can take advantage of that and, oh. you know, put my airstrikes for it. That's I was pondering going. 
I was pondering going down the channel for a second, but I realized, nope, <laughs> there's like a Massachusetts in it, want to go there, no thanks. Mm -hmm. I agree. I would have, uh, given this position, I would have done the same thing. I would also consider just uh, firing HE from now on, just try to time it with your airstrikes. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. to try to light fires and make them stick? Pretty much. Yeah, I, I did swap to HE after that, Salvo. Okay. I would use it once, uh, one at a time though, but I guess you're just not confident leading your shots yet? No, not yet. No. Alright, get good first. Oh. Uh, I have, I've sort, of, I've sort oh. of figured out the airstrikes, actually. I love the Dutch ovens, they're great. Decent hit from the bombs, but yeah. Something I have figured out after this game though, is I can use one airstrike to bait my opponent, my target, into slowing down or speeding up, and then using the second airstrike to sort of play that into my hand. Right. You can certainly do that. By the way, don't forget guys, we have an Italian destroyer code up for grabs, exclamation point ticket gets you in, gotta be present. And a follower to win. Oh, Slight bit of a mistake I made here. I think I overangled a bit on that one. Uh, it's hard okay. to say. I would have actually angled in on this one because I noticed they weren't actually pushing in. They were gonna go back into the cabin yeah. and decimate the team. They're turning back around, aren't they? Yeah, that's sort of when I realized. Hang on, I've made, I've done goofed because now I'm all the way to the back of my cap, and then the enemy team just blew back into my. T into theirs, I'm like, what's going on? And then right. I realize my entire team is in their cap. I'm like, I think oh, that's God. more of an instinct thing. Because mm -hmm. most people typically uh, turn out whenever they need to kite. True, true. Yeah. Got a fire on the massive booty. But of course, at this point, I was feeling pretty confident because I'm like, well, how can my team screw this one up? Uh, uh, did you not pay attention to Raptor's uh, ranked battle earlier? Yeah, no, I came in late, and that's when I remembered, hang on a minute, it's Saturday. Yes, and then I'm like, okay, that's a mindset's bow win, he's dead. Lennon, he's bow to three ships and Atlantico staring at his face, he's dead. So Fast Rest and Gate hasn't taken out the sure see you. Yeah, you need Their to clean up. Be dead. You need to clean up on the other flank. Now uh it's a sub. It's a sub and Talon and two destroyers. So the problem is you don't really have ASW in these Dutch cruisers. Um I, I why why are you I shoot him right here. Shoot her, shoot, shoot her. There you go. I was waiting I was actually waiting for him to turn. From my airstrike to get an AP salvo off, it, but I think I hesitated too much. It did feel like you were waiting um, too much. Yes. Yeah, 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 definitely. Otherwise, I would have gone. That was that would have been free damage. Premium Leone. So why did you just turn your hydro on here? Uh, because I got detected. Thought the sub might be lurking in front of me or okay. the guy. So if oh, if avoid tall and torp. If you can keep track of time well. Waiting about 20 seconds before you pop your Hydro would be more ideal. Definitely. Because if the sub's going to torpedo you, it's going to take a few seconds before the torpedoes hit you anyways. Uh, versus knee-jerk bopping the, rate, the Hydro. But but it's better that you pop it than, than not altogether. So that's good. Are I like... Running... Sorry, yeah, the repair party's a bit late, I think. Very much so. Yeah, I was just going to I... mention that. Very, yeah, I was a bit late on the, on the, uh, pushing the button there. Can also, you... oh. North Carolina got me to blacklist. Because he stole the kill? Both stole the kill and didn't have to do anything for quite a while. <laughs> and because with... why not? <clears throat> yeah, also I made a mistake by eating the tall torpedo there, I overturned. If I hadn't eaten that, I probably would have been able to win the game. Yes. Now, you could actually lob a um a dutch oven strike into that smoke you've chosen not to um i think okay. i did actually well you but... are doing it now you're anticipating that he's gonna run away from the smoke but he turns in and he's gonna dodge yeah. all of that so i'm just saying earlier oh, when you were being oh. shot at for free you could have dutch oven that spot maybe Actually, yeah, true. And that's when, of course, I realized, hang on, why are, where are my North Carolina and my Megami? I realized they're also back on the B line. 
Oh, which, they're running away. Which I'm like... Yeah, and that's why I'm like, oh yeah, this is definitely, it's definitely Saturday right now. And CQA. Um, <laughs> okay, so you did use the DCP, you did use the, uh, the, the repair party. Um, subs are right in front of you. And of course, you don't really yeah. have much to deal with it. Best I can do is dodge him. You have a airstrike for Massachusetts. You would have a second one if you didn't throw it on the destroyer. Hmm. Sure. True, but personally, well, personally, I would have thrown a destroyer. Just what are the chances you might hit it, right? Versus nothing. Well, throw it at the destroyer while he's in the smoke, not when he, not when you hydro him in right. the smoke. Right, 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 right. Absolutely. Because at because at that point, you know he's going to go forward, and there's no point in aiming at a destroyer that's going full speed. Yeah. Fortunately for you, the sub doesn't seem interested in you. Like I thought he would have been yeah. firing torpedoes at you, but he's not. Yeah, I was a little bit lucky with that one. Right? And this is the point also where I realized, hang on, we're down three ships. Oh yeah, let's let's just take a cursory look at the scoreboard and say, what the hell did my team do? <laughs> right? Like That's what you, I was wondering. You guys were clearly learning or I'm clearly like, winning for a long time. Weekend. It is the weekend. Out yeah. yeah, well, it's not just weekend SAT, it's worse. It's patch weekend. Okay. So now you got to think about this. What are you gonna do after? Oh, after you killed the Massachusetts, who who pretty much just. Oh my God! Took you down so hard right there. Yeah, Harlem does not have the best booty armor. Oh my God! You went dark and you shot him again. Got to kill him. Yeah, because that was a guaranteed kill. I mean, I'll take it. Because uh, I know he's on reload. Uh, yeah, but that I mean. Imagine if he fired his guns and your shells like high fived each other in mid flight. Like, you'd be freaking dead. Yeah. May as well get more EXP out of it though. Save your star. Okay, Mogami dies to the Atlantico. So at this yeah. point, I think you need to defend your cap. Forget the enemy cap. Yeah, this is the point where I loop back. I see that. Okay. I mean, honestly, the moment that I saw that my entire team had died down at their cap, I was like, well, this game's over. I might as well go in and do something. Right. Again, if I hadn't eaten the torp from the Tallinn, I would have had still around 20,000 health to play with. And I probably could have won an extra heal, and I could probably won this game. Yep. Because I ate that torp from the Tallinn, I think that's really what sort of threw things out of balance. It slows you down just a bit, doesn't it? It's yeah. theoretically possible, though, because you don't have anything against a sure CU gate or, t or U69, so it would have been very difficult regardless. Yeah. Stormflight, yes, yeah, Stalingrad is a good pick, always. M13, friend just told me he had 18 inches of snow on Friday night. Oh my god. Stormflight. I suggest you also check out the... Uh, there's a couple of people who've reviewed the Mecklenburg, so... At least take a look at that first. Take a look at it, but personally, Stalingrad is solid. I, I would go for that first. But everybody's a lead on the oh. Orleans there. Nice hit. Nice hit. Okay, so uh, it's you and the North Carolina versus all of them. And North Carolina, because he's a complete derp, he's actually going to die in the next 20 seconds. So I'm basically all alone on this one. It's all the I'm just hoping. Uh, to hope. I was ex also I probably should have been a little more patient with my airstrike there. I mean, it wouldn't have made much of a difference because the Atlantico's kind of just there. Okay. You to defend with it. You got the kill. My goal right now is just wanted to kill the, the null. Honestly, not much else I could have done, frankly. Gage, I see you, U69, Atlantico left. Oh, Dutch oven this guy, right now. I would. Problem, I'm out of I use both my strikes. Sigh. I would have not bothered with it, just may as well get your rear gun turret and hope for the best. Yeah. And this is why I should never play on a patch Saturday. But hey, I'm, I mean, I'm not mad. I got 99k and 3 kills out of that, so it's a pretty sweet deal. 
this is why you play ranked on patch weekends. I did. Mm. I witnessed a John Bart get detonated by Aegir's main guns. So that lovely. There. Oh, there you go. Well, thanks for sending that one in. I don't. I don't know how much I could have given you feedback wise there. Yeah, I mean. I sort of looked at the replay afterwards, and I sort of just went over with my head, with myself, like, what could have I done better? Not eating that yeah. torp would have been one thing, and then, um, I guess, honestly, I say to you, you're probably right, just push down the 7 line. Yep. You put, uh, Zath mentioned it earlier, the part where you made a decision to go to the west instead of going south, I think that pretty much decided it. Yep. Yeah, Of course, honestly. your team could have still lost because your team kind of derped uh, in the cap. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Honestly, had I gone to the cap, I probably would have gone less damage. Just because I would have had a Massachusetts and an Atlantico 